Be on your game and respond to the customer to build rapport. Hi everybody, I'm Lori Guest and I'm back with another installment on our series, Reporting Out to the Mistakes We Found in a Recent Secret Shopper Adventure that we provided for one of our clients. So here's an interesting report from a focus group that we interviewed for this project. 14 people representing both genders, half of them above 50 years old and half below 50, living in different parts of the country, were all asked the same questions about tip factors involved in choosing new provider services. And all of them had one answer in common when asked the question, what's the most important tip factor for you when choosing a new provider? And the answer was, well, it just makes sense. They say, I want to be made to feel important, that my issues matter, and that the company really wants me as a client. Well, it seems logical. The second most common answer in the focus group was a desire to check the business out in advance before they ever made the inquiry call. They said they would do this through scrolling online reviews with a special attention to whether responses were given and how negative reviews were handled. So you want the quick fix? Spend some time evaluating your online presence. Do a Google search of providers in your industry using the incognito function on your browser and you will see what the general public sees. Do you show up on page one or are you buried too deep to even be considered by a shopper? If you want to sidestep the work that goes into being found on Google, and it can be significant work, then consider putting focused effort into how you generate referrals. That way, they aren't searching your industry, they're putting in your name in the search engines as a means to find your phone number. Yes, modern day yellow pages. Action step. Do you want the really easy, no cost action step to build rapport before you even connect with your new client? Do these three things. Number one, freshen your outbound voicemail message to something energetic, creative, and even with a splash of humor if it's appropriate for your industry. Number two, be sure to return all voicemail messages as soon as possible. I know that sounds like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised how often our shoppers don't get a call back even after two days. Completely unacceptable. And number three, if it's your turn to leave a message, slow down. Use your first date voice and clearly state what the next action is and who's responsible for it. For example, I'll try you again tomorrow at 10 a.m or please call back at your convenience during our regular office hours and we're happy to answer your questions. Leads should always be tagged in the stage they're in and what is the next actionable step in the buying process. When we stay purely transactional, none of that secret sauce happens and less deals close. Being someone others want to do business with, <laughs> well, it just makes sense.